Another theme that is a priori not particularly appealing to the general public is marine currents and the modifications they can undergo in relation to climate change. The, the currents are driven by two things. One, the winds basically push the water around and then that turns into a current. And also the changes in uh, temperature and uh, saltiness. There we are at the heart of invisible physical underwater phenomena, the study of which is particularly esoteric. And yet these marine currents are far from leaving the public indifferent. They regularly influence the climate of the regions they flow along. For Europe, the Gulf Stream is certainly the most famous of all. Gulf Stream, which is making the UK a lot warmer than it should be, because we're as far north as Russia and Canada, so it should be a lot colder. The Gulf Stream determines the mildness of the climate of northwestern Europe, and therefore directly influences the daily life of its populations. Certain theories tied to climatic warming predict a possible slowdown of this current, which will be directly responsible for modifications in the local climate. For example, if the North Atlantic circulation were to change, then uh, Europe could get a bit colder in winter, whereas the rest of the planet is warming. Directly concerned, the vast majority of the public living in the northwest of Europe knows and accepts the phenomenon without batting an eye. If the ice stops melting, then the conveyor belt moves down, the Atlantic stops working, and then we get snow. If the Arctic does melt badly, it's going to push the Gulf current farther down the Atlantic, and it will affect this country and the whole of northern Europe. And then if it does start to snow a lot, I was looking forward to a lot of skiing in the UK. We will suffer colder weather, longer and longer periods of rain, etc. So, <laughs> so yeah, quite looking forward to that, actually. The public is well informed, but still beset with certain doubts and misunderstandings that are deeply rooted. First of all, if the winters are colder, where is this global warming everyone's talking about? It doesn't mean the planet isn't warming, it just means that locally things are changing differently, that overall the planet would still warm. These apparent local contradictions feed the thoughts of all those who are decidedly not very keen to believe in global warming. Pour moi, c'est plutôt une préparation à un refroidissement. Aujourd'hui, c'est pas un jour de réchauffement climatique. This perplexity is broadly upheld by the fact that the eventual climatic impacts in the modifications of the Gulf Stream will take place in the future. Climate uh, change is something that is related uh, to the future. The climate scientists tell us, OK, what we see today is just the beginning. So the, the damages, the expected damages happen in the future. In addition, the temporal vagueness that surrounds these forecasts doesn't help to raise public awareness. The changes would be over 10 or 20 years, and the climate models show those changes really happening into the 21st century. To be more precise, scientists are still lacking comparative measures over the long term. You have to measure for 10 or 20 years to be able to see whether it's changing. Five years is too short a measurement. It sounds like a long time. But in terms of climate, five years is quite short. As for the public, there's no sense of particular urgency. I think it probably is happening, but, but really slowly. Climate changes are going to happen fast enough. Like that in my generation, there's going to be anything significant. Ma non solo io, ma anche i figli, i nipoti, la gente che verrà. Future generations, but not this one particularly. Well, in other countries, I suppose, yeah, but not England so far. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. 200 years.